Jay Sarasidlo reporting inside Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle in Royal Oak. Stay tuned as officials are announcing the entertainment lineup for this year's Arts, Beats, and Eats Festival. I can't believe we were here, actually across the street in another venue, but uh, 10 months ago when we first broke the news that we were moving Arts, Beats, and Eats to uh, the really vibrant downtown of the city of Royal Oak. And, uh, we know it's been a lot of work. Uh, and, and I, I got some remarks here about the mayor and, and the city of Royal Oak, but I can't tell how delighted we are to be here and how excited I am about what's about to take place with our uh, Arts Beats Needs Festival. Um, throughout the course of my career now, I've been in kind of exec for 18 years, and a lot of the news conferences that some of you from the media have followed, I'm always talking about the quality of life, uh, about living and raising a family, enjoying Oak County. Beyond the fact it's a good place to have a business and work, there's a quality of life aspect. Well, uh, this that's the theme for my brief remarks. The point, if there's a quality of life, there's a quality of event. And I think this is going to be, without any, any doubt whatsoever, uh, the best, uh, the most you know, quality event we've put, you know, brought to the public here uh, since the inception of our species more than what, 12 years ago. Uh, let me give you some of the numbers. Perhaps you know these already, but uh, you begin to see how everything has grown. And I really credit the venue and the decision to, to come to Royal Oak with these numbers. We have more than 200 bands uh, on nine stages. That's three more stages than we ever had in the past. So you can see just in that number alone the, the expansion of our speed stage. We also have an addition uh, on that ninth stage. We're going to open up, given all the publicity we've had recently with a new act that's going to be Guns and Roses. <laughs> Just joking, guys. <laughs> um, we also have uh, 56 restaurants represented. That's a 20% increase in, in the food establishments. We have 400, and this is a new uh, addition to, to, the, to the menu here, 400 young aspiring artists uh, who uh, participated in the Oakland County Summer Arts Project. It was uh, really a project that was uh, spawned not only by my office with uh, Christy Zamora from who's my director of arts, culture, and film, but also with uh, the open schools. 400 of these kids participating will have uh, a judge uh, looking at their work. Uh, we have, in addition to those aspiring artists, 135 of the best artisans, uh, people who bring their crafts to, to, to the new menu here. That's, that's, again, that's an increase. Uh, from, they're coming from all around the United States uh, to, to show their wares here, and I'm excited about that as well. We have 60 community organization, that's a new number for us as well, of uh, groups that will participate and in, in, in share in, in, in the uh, benefits of, of this Arts, Beats, and Needs Festival. We have already, I think John and the mayor have done a great job lining up, already uh, protected and reserved 10,500 parking spaces, actually 10,499 because I got my car out there already. <laughs> and and uh, uh, with the weather, and you know, we are weather driven as, as outdoor festivals are, uh, with the, assuming we have reasonable weather, we, we expect we'll have about a $10 million economic impact here in town on the, on the various uh, merchants and stores that will benefit from thousands and thousands of people walking through the festival, <coughs> on, on, on that, that they're up to, out the course of the festival, walking through the town. It's really going to be, I think, an exciting uh, festival for us and for them as well. And you're going to hear some more specifics from the, uh, the following speakers, but I did want to close my remarks by thanking again uh, Mayor Ellison for the outstanding cooperation that we received from not only him and his office, but for all the department heads who worked with John to, to ensure that we put on this quality event. We, we could not have asked for anything we asked for regarding the space. And I want to thank the Royal Oak, uh, the departments, and certainly the mayor for the support. I also want to thank our sponsors, obviously. The event is called the Ford Arts Beats Need. We couldn't be here without Ford support. Citizens Bank stepped up big time. Our sponsors, we appreciate it, and I look forward to bringing you uh, a quality event here over Labor Day. Thank you very much. Thank, thanks, Brooks. We, we do have a lot to address today. We're all going to move uh, quickly and just understand the scope of what you're about to hear about, how much is going to be happening in, in one downtown. Uh, one of the stars of the event uh, is actually uh, going to be on four wheels uh, throughout the festival, and, and we're very excited about that, and we're very grateful. We certainly could not have presented an event of this magnitude and of this quality without the support of Ford, and right now I'd like to introduce and thank, how about a nice hand for Jane Engelhardt, Vice President and Account Supervisor of Ford Dealer Advertising. Jane. Thank you, Jack. Good morning, everyone. 
Um, I just want to say that you're all about to hear one of the best uh, festival entertainment lineups probably ever assembled, especially here in Michigan. Um, and we too at Ford and Southeast Michigan Ford dealers wanted to bring a top lineup to the Ford Arts Beats and Eats, um, which is why for the first time since it, since it was unveiled at Ford, uh, we'll have on display our best stars as well, which would be the all new Ford Explorer, uh, the Ford Fiesta, and the new 2011 Edge. Uh, in addition, we'll have the Drive One uh, tour display on hand, which will feature the Ford Fusion Hybrid, and the 2010 Taurus and Mustang. Plus, we'll be having an opportunity for consumers to uh, participate in some of our contests and experience the new Ford Fiesta Drive One experience. Uh, we're very proud to sponsor the Ford Fiesta stage, uh, featuring Detroit's best alternative bands, which Don will take you through in just a second. Um, but overall, you know, it's truly an exciting time at Ford and for the Southeast Michigan Ford dealers and for the city of Royal Oak as well. And we just really are looking forward to Labor Day weekend. Thanks, Jane. Um, all right, so let's uh, get to the uh, arts, beats, and eats. But things have been a little bit backward uh, lately, so we're going to start uh, kind of in the center, and that's with the beats. Uh, it's gotten a lot of attention, our lineup, and as Brooks and Jane have alluded to, we are exceptionally proud of it. So here you go. On the Michigan Lottery stage uh, on Friday night, we're proud to announce uh, the Royal Oak Symphony will kick things off along with Royal Oak High Marching Band. So we're getting it started in a great Royal Oak spirit. We're gonna transition over to Saving Abel, uh, an amazing now national rock band with, uh, from Michigan that is going to be, uh, you know, just really light up Royal Oak. Uh, Candlebox will also be performing. Uh, rockers who have uh, been throughout Metro Detroit and drawn great crowds, we're excited about them. Sponge will also be on, this is on the Michigan Lottery stage. On Saturday, we go to Bob Seeger's Roots with Alto Reed, and he put together an amazing band uh, doing the best of Seeger and other classic rock uh, from Detroit. Uh, Rhythm Core is coming back on Saturday. Mayor Hawthorne, a, a band uh, who is taking Detroit, just played at Cachillo and going national by storm and referred by our own Shannon Ferrante. Uh, they'll be playing on Saturday. And then Kenny Wayne Shepherd, uh, you know, legendary blues uh, rock guitarist will be here Saturday night. On Sunday, Alexander Zanchek and friends will be bringing some great jazz to us. War is coming, uh, the great classic rock band. And then also we're excited about R&B and soulful, soulful singer Macy Gray is coming uh, to Ford Arts Beats and Eats on the Michigan Lottery stage. Monday, it just does not let up. Kansas is coming uh, to Ford Arts Beats and Eats, and then close it with uh, some great country and Clint Black, who played, you know, with us when we hosted folks from out of town in the Super Bowl back in 2006, and we're bringing back in the festival atmosphere. So this lineup is going to be uh, off the charts. I'm going to quickly touch a little bit on the local stage, but I'm going to need my uh, glasses because the print is a little smaller. So hold on a second. Um, on the Soaring Eagle Casino stage, which will have country, you'll see the lights of Dr. Pocket, Susan Calloway, Back 40, and Royal Oaks own Ford Brothers. On the Citizens Bank stage, which will have acoustic uh, offerings, Mosaic Youth Theater, uh, La Chispa and Country, uh, Company rather, and La Chispa is one of our absolute stars. She is, uh, you know, the top in flamenco dancer, one of the top flamenco dancers in the world, and you'll get to see her. Uh, at Ford Arts Beats and Eats uh, on the Citizens Bank stage. Teddy Richards will be here, and Royal Oaks own John Lamb doing some indie acoustic. And again, that Citizens Bank stage will be a mix of cultural and acoustic entertainment right in the center of our art fair down off of Washington near Lincoln. The Ford Fiesta stage, as uh, Jay mentioned, is going to be alternative. It represents us having two rock-based alternative stages. Um, Carolyn Striho is performing on Friday, Jessica Hernandez and the Deltas, uh, Luster Craft with Liz Laren, who's a legendary Michigan performer and, and often uh, Detroit Music Award winner. We're having an international stage. The Vincent Cho's international stage will feature a combination of cooking exhibitions with their chefs along with international music.